I find myself once in a while very perplexed at how I end up talking about certain stories on this channel. This is one of the fun and strange things about opening up the channel to more than just, you know, Uber sucks. You start talking about apps in general and really weird stories pop up like this one. A month or so ago, I talked about Lizza, who I had not heard about until now. Since then, I have listened to a couple of her Grammy-nominated albums and actually kind of like the music, to be perfectly honest. I, I, I think her music's good. And, um, yeah, so, nice little surprise there. That said, I have not been happy with her about how she has handled this Postmates situation, and she is now actually demanding, after she screwed this situation up, that the Postmates driver pay her legal bills. This is not a good look. Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here and you happen to really like this video, please do a favor, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell notification, share the video if you want to. We upload videos on a near daily basis and you will want to be notified of when we upload the news, commentary, editorials, interviews, podcasts, premieres, all that jazz. So anyway, let me give you like a quick little recap of what this drama with Lizzo and Postmates is. Lizzo, like a lot of celebrities it appears, buys a lot of stuff on Postmates. And you know what? Hey, I get it. Here's the thing. If I had all the money in the world, like, or a heck of a lot more money than I have now anyway, I would probably use Postmates quite a bit more than I do now. I would use it because, hey, I'm busy and I don't have time to go to the store or I think I don't have time to go to the store. I'd rather not go to the store considering how busy I am. And what the heck? I can have food delivered, and who cares? Who cares? I mean, I'm Lizzo. I, I've got Grammys. My albums have sold millions of copies, I assume. I've got music videos. I'm on TV. Like, I can afford to do Postmates. There's a reason they have stories about celebrities spending, like, $40,000 a year on Postmates, because $40,000 a year is nothing to, the, to these people. They're rich. They're absolutely rich. The problem came when on her security camera, she found out that her Postmates driver was eating food. Something that unfortunately happens a lot more than we want to admit. Well, anyway, she blasted this guy on Twitter, shared the person's image, ad, you know, face, everything, and it created quite a bit of controversy. Because while the act was definitely despicable, Lizzo isn't just a regular customer. She has a lot of people following her on Twitter. I, I don't know the exact amount, but it was a lot. And when she puts someone on blast in someone's face, this person can become famous, and you don't know what some crazy fan is going to do. Like, you, you just don't know. And by the way, in the Postmates app, there are ways you can report these situations and Postmates will refund you your money, which is probably nothing to her. A $25 Postmates order is probably her, like her spending a quarter for dinner. It really isn't that big of a deal. So anyway, she apologized, but the driver basically claimed invasion of privacy. I believe he tried to sue her uh, and said defamination. He, he's actually even saying like he didn't do this. But it just got more ugly because Lizzo was actually arguing that her public shaming of this Postmates driver should be protected under free speech. Now, before we even go any farther, the answer is no. I mean, here's the thing. You can disagree with someone, especially if they're a public figure. You can absolutely do that. However, I do believe there is a power imbalance when it is a regular Joe as opposed to a celebrity. And if she considers herself a regular person, like I said, Postmates has it set up in the app. You can complain about the order. She could have gotten her money back. Heck, they probably would have even given her a free meal. 
Not that, not that I think that matters too much. Again, he's rich. But I do think it crosses a line when a celebrity puts a normal person on blast. This is why I, by the way, disliked it. When a company, I forgot which company it even was, but this guy said he didn't like Captain Marvel, he didn't like Brie Larson, and this company retweeted the tweet, said she's won an Oscar, she's done this, she's done that, and you should be ashamed for being a man-hating person. And the guy got death threats. I thought that was extremely irresponsible, and I thought what Lizzo did here was extremely, um, <laughs> what was I say? Irresponsible. That's what I'm, I don't know why I blanked on that. What she did was extremely irresponsible and childish to boot. Again, there was a proper communication. So, here's the thing. One of the biggest controversies of Lizzo's career today could be considered the time she received backlash for publicly shaming a Postmates driver. The incident occurred back in September of 2019 when a female employee, uh, okay, it's a female employee, failed to deliver the singer's order due to a mix-up. So it wasn't even food eating, it was just the food didn't get delivered. The employee showed up to the Boston Hotel where Lizzo was staying, but upon arrival, wasn't able to get in contact with her to confirm where the food was supposed to be dropped off, and moved on to her next order. By the way, should be noted, that you're allowed to do this. They have it in the agreement, even for the buyers, that hey, there's a certain amount of time that the driver has to deliver the food. If they can't get in contact with you, they mark that they can't get in contact, to, contact with you, they're given like five or 10 minutes, something like that. And Postmates will try to contact you. And if you just don't pick up, then guess what? Driver leaves, they get to keep your food. I have done it many, many times. That's not scamming people. That is just following the policy because you don't have time to be there all night. And that, well, she publicly shamed this person, got a lot of backlash. And now she wrote this tweet. Hey, at Postmates, this girl, Tiffany W. stole my food. She lucky I don't fight no more. The front desk told me she walked in, clocked in as delivered, and then walked out with food in hand. Her phone never rang. Postmates couldn't contact her either. She clearly knew what she was doing, and I just don't want someone else to get the stuff stole too. Well, that's the tweet that launches controversy, and, well, this was the result. After being aired out by a celebrity like this, Tiffany alleged that she received death threats and didn't feel safe enough to continue working for Postmates. In November, she filed a lawsuit against Lizzo for defamination and intentional infliction of emotional distress. I would argue, although I'm not a lawyer, of course, that this is actually a fairly accurate representation. Because it's not like you can just... <laughs> it's not like you can just clock... I don't know, maybe you can. I'm kind of amazed what some people do for free food, but depend if Tiffany's Postmates record is solid and it shows that she was delivering food for quite a while, then it would not match up with Lizzo's story and that would be considered defamination. And Tiffany W is now a toxic name on Postmates, even though it's fairly common. So yeah, I would argue that's defamination. Now, here's the thing. While Lizzo took to Twitter to apologize for irresponsibility, oh, well, you know, she agrees with me, using her platform and dragging a service worker, she seemingly doesn't believe that she should be held legally accountable for her tweets. According to legal docs obtained by All Hip Hop, Lizzo has responded to the lawsuit by arguing that her actions should be protected under the First Amendment to the Constitution, namely freedom of speech. The docs filed by Lizzo's lawyer, Joanna M. Hill request for the judge to dismiss the case and order Tiffany W to compensate Lizzo for legal fees. That's where this is going to become a problem. Lizzo, you make way more money than most. You shamed a girl on Twitter over an order that was at most $50. I don't know what you ordered, of course, but if it was McDonald's, that couldn't have been more than $20. It, it couldn't have been. You you probably did give a lot of unnecessary pressure to this girl and she's just trying to do her job you know the way you described it might not have happened security footage might show that her postmates record might show that you know what lizzo you need to settle and you need to apologize the fact that you're actually asking for dismissal but then to twist the knife you want this this worker who's working for Postmates of all things to pay your legal fees, this is not a good look. 
And by the way, on a side note, I do believe this is going to be the year where we start finding out whether or not tweets can actually be considered defamination or not. There are several ongoing litigation cases about tweets and the media. The biggest one that I can think of right now, well, there's two big ones right now that are currently ongoing. One of them involves the Catholic Covington High School boys who are suing people for their tweets on Twitter claiming that they did something that they claim they did not do and people actually go into the school or house or threatening them based on what the tweet said, though celebrities and journalists are arguing free speech as well. Then you have the lawsuit with anime voice actor superstar Vic Mignana, who because of a bunch of tweets and not an investigation, at least not one that's been revealed publicly, lost his job to voice anime characters for Funimation. He is now suing his former employer and people who were tweeting these allegations. I always find it interesting that in these situations, people will tweet about, they did this, they did this, and the crime sounds so serious. I'm kind of like, okay, why didn't you go to the police? Now, Lizzo's is not quite in that league, I understand, but here's the thing. She did put this girl on blast, probably did cause this poor girl some undue stress. And this girl has, I, I personally believe this girl has a right to sue. I believe these lawsuits need to come because I think Twitter is toxic. I think it causes a lot of harm when people get mad. And I think there should be some response if, hey, tweets end up doing a lot of emotional damage, if not financial damage to people, especially if what's being said in the tweets can't be legally proven. So I'm sorry, Lizzo. I like your music. Again, never heard of you before this incident. And it says, speaks volumes that my initial reaction to you is you are a piece of garbage person who has good music. So, hey, I'm going to listen to your music. That was my initial reaction. You're a piece of garbage person, but I like your music. And I was hoping you would have learned from this. But no, apparently not. You are seeking not just dismissal. All you had to do was seek the dismissal, Lizzo. Just ask for the case to be dismissed or settle. Heck, you would have looked a lot better. Hey, I'm going to settle. And now I'm going to settle. I'm going to publicly apologize once more for what I did. You would have come out the hero. You said, hey, I lost my temper. I realized I was wrong. I have settled with this girl. She did not, She followed protocol and I had a temper tantrum. That's all you need to do. You look like the good guy. She gets some money. Everyone can move on. But no, you seek a dismissal and then you ask this poor working class girl to pay your legal fees. Well, I, I guess I'm not buying any more of your music even though I like it. You're not the kind of person who I want to give money to. I will save that money and I will have... In fact, you know what? I will, because I still buy CDs... Uh, <laughs> no kidding, I, I, I still buy CDs. I have thousands of these things in my house. Um, I will not buy your CDs in the future. I will use your CDs and buy a pizza or something through Postmates in your name and give that person a tip in your name because you clearly are not a decent person to these, to these workers. And that's all I have to say about that. But what about all of you? you folks. Do you agree? Do you disagree? I would love to know. Comment below, like, favorite, share this video please, and subscribe. And as always, blame responsibly. Have a good one.